Hey, how's it going guys? Today I will show you how to install Android 6 Pointer Marshmallow on your Samsung Galaxy S3. First of all, you will need to know which version of the Galaxy S3 you have. To do that, you will need to go into the settings, then in the more section, then scroll down to about device. You'll see here the modal number. So take that in note and you go see in the chart what is the code name corresponding to your modal number. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, the chart is going to be uh, this link. So for example, me, it was, uh, my mobile number was SGH-T999V. So you check here, you will see uh, the code name, which is, uh, for example, me is uh, D2TMO. For, uh, for example, uh, if you have a TELUS phone and uh, it's SGH-I747M, you will see that here it is D2 AT&T. So uh, you will also go into the script, into the description, to download the corresponding ROM. For example, me, it's um, it is this one. So I have this uh, this uh, ROM. You go here. You'll have a download link. Click on it. You wait a bit. You begin to download and you click on primary download i want to do it because i actually actually have it right now and uh you don't, you also download the google apps which i will be also be linking in the, in the description but it's going to be another version because i prefer those version um so uh when you have downloaded that you also need oops sorry my mess um so you also need to download um Handall, which uh, you will be uh, going uh, to download there. You will download it here, which I already did too. So um, after that, you will download ADB from here. You'll download it, and when it's done, you will we will need to install. I suggest you to put all the downloaded files into your folder. Oh, I forgot. You also need to download the. Uh, it's pretty important to download uh, your recovery. If you do not download your recovery, it will be pretty hard to uh, install a uh, custom ROM. I will also be uh, linking uh, the the recovery in the description. So you, it's a uh, same thing. You take it for your uh, for your version number, and then you you have here. Scroll on download links. Then you have primary. Click on it. Download it. Rename it to recovery.img. It will be easier for the install. So you right click on ADB setup, run as administrator, enter your password. So you say yes, enter, yes, enter, wait a bit, yes, enter, wait a next, finish, all done. So after you've done that, you extract Heimdall right there. So once you've extracted Heimdall and, you, and that you've installed ADB, you will need to reboot your phone into download mode. To do that, you will shut down your phone. Then when it's, when, once it is shut down, you will click on volume down, vo uh, power and home at the same time to power it up. Make sure it's not plugged in. So you will see a screen saying warning and just press volume up to continue. Then you plug it in. You are going to be a uh, slide. You, you want to slide uh, the recovery image into the Heimdall folder again. In the Heimdall suit folder. So then you will click on drivers. Right click there. Uh, right click Zadig, zadig.exe. Run, run as administrator. Enter your password. Then, you will click on Options, List All Device. You will click on MSM8960. It can be a bit different, but for me, it is MSM8960. Click on it. You um, go into the drop-down menu. You will check Install Driver, and this will be a button Replace Driver. Click on it. Wait a bit. 
the driver was installed successfully. Close that, go back, shift right click, open the command window, and then you write Heimdall flash dash dash recovery in all oops recovery in all caps then you uh, write recovery dot ing dash dash no dash reboot and then you click enter and you wait you should see uh, a blue bar appearing on your device wait until it's full and wait a wait a couple of seconds when it's full unplug your device Press the home button, the power button, and the volume up button. So it will close your device. You repress on it until it says reboot, re rebooting recovery. If it doesn't say that, well, sadly, <laughs> you will have to restart. Okay, so once you've pressed your volume up, your power button, your home button, and it is booted in recovery mode, you will close the command window. Go in S3, uh, go in your folder with uh, where you've downloaded your Google Apps and your CyanogenMod Mod version and your uh, custom ROM. Sorry, and uh, you right shift right click, open command window, click ADV dev devices. It will start daemon. Sorry for that, and uh, it will say the serial number of your device and saying it's in recovery mode. Once it says that, you will type ADB, push, and then you will um, push, and you'll dash P. Don't forget to do that. It will be a, so, because if you forget to do that, well, it won't show your progress. It's, it's not that um, bad, but it's pretty uh, useful to see the progress. So you write ADB push dash P, CM, uh, well, the, the name of your file, you can press tab, it will complete it for you. Oops, I forgot to uh, write. And you don't press enter like I did. You write slash SD card slash. You wait until it transfers. Can, uh, can be a long time, so I will pause the video until then. Okay, so once it's done, you want to type um, ADB push P G apps 6.0 zip, whatever uh, you named it. Um, slash SD card slash again you'll need to wait it will take a bit less time because Google Apps are uh, a bit uh, are a bit smaller okay so once it's done uh, you'll go back in your phone your phone screen probably went black uh, just tap on the screen and s swipe to unlock <coughs> sorry then click on backup and check boot system data and cache if you want to, but it's it's useless. Um, swipe to backup. Wait until it backs up. Okay, so once it's done, uh, you'll want to go back and then wipe. Swipe to factory reset. Go back, back. Then you'll want to press on install. And press CM13. Uh, well, your the name of your ROM. Then click on Add More Zips. Then click on the, your Google Apps and swipe to confirm flash. So you'll need to wait a bit uh, before it installs. Okay, so once it's done, I suggest you to wipe Cache and Dalvik. Swipe to wipe. Wait a bit. Go back and press on Reboot System. Then you will wait until uh, your uh, Phone boots, it can take a bit of time, like about uh, five minutes, the first boot. Um, so I'm just going to wait until it boots and uh, show you a bit what it looks like. Okay, so the first boot is not very long, actually, uh, in this ROM, because uh, it's a small, well, it's a smaller ROM than the other uh, CyanogenMods Mods versions. So, uh, yeah, uh, the entering starting screen appears, and uh, while well, saying optimizing apps, this can take about uh, a minute, so uh, just wait wait again a bit, and uh, it's almost uh, it's almost done. So you'll probably uh, step on a screen that you know a bit, 
it looks like every other boot up screen. So uh, you select your language. Then you enter your um, network. Uh, then you should select your network and everything. You uh, enter the password, blah, 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 all the all normal things. Then it's your SIM card, um, like, you know, a normal setup. So you have the Google account and everything. And once uh, it's done, um, well, you uh, have a, like a normal uh, Android phone and you're ready to go. I will probably show uh, some features in another video, but some features are missing from uh, CyanogenMod Mod uh, 12 because uh, it, they are still being ported. So once you've done that, it should pretty much look like that. So if you don't believe me that you have a six Android 6 point marshmallow, you can still go into the settings about phone and you will see that you have Android 6.0 marshmallow. Like so. Marshmallow. Yeah, marshmallow. Android 6 point marshmallow with the little Easter egg, which is the same as as the last one, which ki which is kind of sad, I think. But uh, yeah, gotta deal with it, you know. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Peace.